So today I have something very different to show you guys. I believe I am one of the first people to get this onto YouTube. This is Arethusia and they are a new watch company and they are making a very interesting world dive watch and I'll get right into what this is. It comes in very nice packaging and the price on this is excellent. It's under $300, actually well under $300. And you're getting an automatic dive watch, 200 meters of water resistance and really nice packaging. Actually, uh, leather string here that holds this roll together. It is a four watch roll uh, and it is made out of a canvas, sort of like a wax canvas, sorry, five watch roll, uh, which is even nicer. And then inside it is a brown sort of uh, faux suede material. You get tools with the watch. I don't believe you get a strap with the watch. However, this is a rubber strap that they have sent along. It's in a blue color, uh, and that's because this is the blue dial version. You get a signed buckle on here. It's nice. It looks good. Uh, and here is the watch. Now, immediately you're going to notice, uh, and I feel like I say this a lot, there is something different about this watch, and it is, of course, the hands. The hands on here, you just have a disc for the seconds hand and that disc has just a bar on it uh, and I believe that is loomed uh, and that is the running seconds. Below that you have the minute hand that is sort of a triangle right there on a black disc um, and it's sort of I guess half white I believe it is. Let me do this. Let me unscrew the crown so we can move it around so you can see. There's a little bit of a you know a little special detail here. Yeah it is half white and half black which makes sense uh, on that minute hand and then when you actually cross over the hour hand it is skeletonized so it just becomes one arrow pointing to the time uh, so a really different system for the hands uh, and i think it really works they also have a little bit of a trick here as well it's not really a trick but a style or a design cue that i think works really well uh, i always complain about the date i always complain about placement of the date or even having a date what they have done here is they have included the date it's there at the uh six o'clock position however what they have done with the date is, is they've put it in a block exactly the same size as the indices so uh the index at the nine and the three sort of match that index at the six o'clock it says 200 meters in it as well so they're sort of removing the text from the dial and they're putting it in that index so it uh, sort of declutters the dial a little bit and actually looks really good. I'll do a close up so you guys can see. And you can see here, very nice bezel action, pretty decent. It's a little bit on the light side, but really not that bad. Sounds good and it is uh, pretty tight. So it's not moving at all and you can hear it. It sounds pretty good. Uh, it just feels a little bit light, that's all. Uh, and then you get a ceramic bezel. Now you can see on the ceramic bezel you have different cities named in the bezel. This is all loomed. I'm not sure if that half disc is loomed as well, but I believe all of the indices are loomed. And you get these blocks, as I mentioned, at the 9 and 6. And then you have a triangle at the 12 o'clock. Uh, and then it's batons for everything else. Um, the loom shot should be pretty good on this watch and uh, considering the price this is a really interesting design uh, that they've really done a pretty good job with. So you can see there's the logo on the crown. You have a screwed in crown. The crown is pretty decently sized I guess for the case. It's around a 40 millimeter watch I want to say. So it's 39.6 millimeters so just under 40 millimeters. Uh, you do get mail end links on here but the lug plug isn't very long. You have sort of cut off lugs here. They are drilled, 47.5. The effective lug to lug, including those male end lengths, 52.9 millimeters. And then the crown is just about 6.3 millimeters. Uh, you do get an automatic movement inside here. You get a double dome sapphire crystal, so 14.4 millimeters thick. It is 200 meters of water resistance. You get an NH35 in here as well. Uh, so it is on the thicker side. So 14.4, including that dome sapphire crystal, it's probably in the neighborhood of 14, maybe just under 13 millimeters without that domed sapphire crystal. You do get AR coating on that sapphire crystal as well. Uh, this is the blue dial variant. It's sort of a sunburst pattern on that dial. There is a chapter ring there. It's, I don't think it's metal actually. I think it is a black chapter ring and it's not printed on at all. So it's just a metal uh, covered with black, I think that's what that is. So it actually matches the bezel, looks really good. Um, sort of a black and blue theme on this dial, 
which works really well. Uh, sort of slab-sided, you do get a line of polish that goes on the top of the case. On the bottom, you don't get that. Um, and then you get a screening case back and you get a lot of information back here. It's just, you know, your world time information and stuff like that. So it's sort of a world timer because you get that world time bezel, which is pretty cool. Um, it just has a few different cities here. It says uh, Sydney, the Azores, uh, Geneva. So you're getting a few different cities there. Um, there obviously a lot more than that, but just giving you an idea. And there's just a line that goes throughout the bezel and you have a 15 minute counter. Uh, for the bezel as well. All of that is loom. We'll do a loom shot. Then you have a very interesting bracelet on here as well. Again, they didn't go with the standard bracelet that, you know, oyster bracelet. It's sort of an H link bracelet, but the tops and the bottoms of each of the center links are beveled and then polished. The outer links are brushed. Looks really good. So all the top of the uh, center links are brushed, but you get that little bit of flash from the bracelet, but it's not polished. Uh, I don't like a polished bracelet. I don't like a polished mid link or outer link. It doesn't matter. Um, and I think they did a really good job with this. So you're getting a little bit of polish without, you know, worrying about it scratching up or looking terrible. So you're getting the benefits of a brushed bracelet uh, at the same time you're getting some polish. Very good idea. Uh, and then the uh, buckle itself, buckle it's actually all brushed. It's a very typical uh, micro brand buckle. You do get six positions of micro adjust, which I like, uh, which is good. And of course it's just a double push, uh, flip over lock. Very, very typical. It is uh, milled, uh, scissors milled, the clasp is milled, uh, and it is also signed with the brand name right there. Um, looks good. Not bad. Uh, especially considering the price. I think this is pretty damn good. $289 is what they're offering this at. Uh, initially, I think it goes up to like 300 and change, 399 I want to say, $289. I think that's a really good price considering uh, that you're getting an automatic movement. It is an NH35 sapphire crystal ceramic bezel, but also those sort of bespoke hands, uh, the interesting bracelet that they decided to go with on here. Uh, it's not really off the shelf. It might be, but uh, I haven't seen many micro brands use it, so that is good. Uh, it's something a little bit more individual. I like that. And then it, of course it's a world timer. So, uh, you're getting that bezel that is loomed and has all of the cities on there. Uh, pretty cool. And I think if they loom this properly, it's going to be a pretty nice loomed watch. Uh, we'll check that in just a minute. Uh, very quickly, I'm going to throw it on my wrist and then we will do that loom shot. $289, as I mentioned. Uh, including the packaging, the, the whole thing is really very nice. Uh, very quickly, today I have a really cool watch on my wrist. You can see it says Watch Chris right there. Uh, I'm very excited about this. This is actually full gear um, and they make customizable watches. And this is uh, my customized watch. Basically, uh, it has my logo on the back. It says Watch Chris uh, right there at the 12 o'clock. Um, and this has tritium tubes in it. So there's, I think, T25s in here. Uh, they also have an option for T100s. This is a pilot's watch, it's like 42 millimeters. Really nicely made, pretty decent price as well, uh, especially considering all the customizable options that you have. So I don't have this size for my uh, seven and a half inch wrist, but there you go. It does wear a little bit high because it is 14.4 millimeters thick. It's 200 meters water resistance. You get screwed in crown, screwed in case back. Um, I have a seven and a half inch, this is a 40 millimeter watch, uh, and that lug to lug of 52 millimeters, the effective lug to lug of 52 millimeters really doesn't bother my wrist at all. I think it was like 47 or 48, uh, without those male end links. This looks good. This is a good looking watch. And it's like, you know, they've tried to do something different. A lot of people complain that, you know, a lot of brands do the exact thing over and over again. They've done something different. They've gone with a world time bezel. They've put some really interesting hands on here. And then that date, which I mentioned, I really like that date. It works excellent. Uh, and it has that little 200 meters, it says automatic right above it. They probably could have done away with that, uh, but pretty interesting. I, I really have to say, I, I really do think it's interesting. Uh, really good job there. Um, and then of course the bracelet with those little sort of flashes of, of um, polish. It's really not flashy but it gives you a little bit more when you're moving around the watch. Pretty cool. Anyway, uh, very quickly, let's do that loom shot because I'm actually excited to see the loom 
uh, and then we will wrap up the video. Well, there you go. They did a really good job with the loom. Uh, the only thing I don't see is loomed is the date. That would have been a little bit different uh, if they did something like that. That would have been really cool, but I get it. It's $289. Uh, $399 uh, is obviously going to be the retail price eventually, but if you get in on this earlier, $289 gets you something very different. This is really something different from the normal micro brand watch. Uh, the, the hands are very bespoke. You have to like that. Now, you know, I could see how a lot of people may not like that. I think it looks good. Uh, the loom is excellent on here. So those big indices are very, very filled with loom. And then you have the hands. They're all filled with loom. So you have the second hand, the hour triangle, uh, you know, the, the disc. And then you have the minute sort of area, that little triangle that's cut out. That's all loomed. And then, of course, the bezel is all loomed. Everything on the bezel that's in white is loomed. So they loomed every single city name, all of the hashes for the 15-minute counter, the triangle at the top, the pip. Um, everything is loomed, that line that goes around with each dot by the, ci the city. Um, really good. I mean, that is very good. Considering the price, like I said, ceramic bezel included, uh, very, very nice. I think they did a great job. Execution of this, uh, very good. So tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. I love to bring you new brands like this, uh, especially when they're doing something different. Uh, I love that. And this is definitely something different. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel. I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watch Chris blog, all one word. Um, and that's really it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next video.